，三十三十一條又係做實驗咯，就想睇下環境嘅因素啦，對一棵植物嘅失水速度啊，有啲咩嘅影響？今次嘅實驗做啲咩嘢呢？我哋每一日嘅晏晝十二點呢，我哋都會量度下呢一棵植物嘅重量嘅，咁連續五日去度一度佢啦。而家實驗話嘛，我哋去研究下唔同環境因素啊嘛，係咪？所以呢，我哋都會重複嘅實驗，去改變其中一款嘅環境因素，例如光咗啦、大風咗啦、濕度高咗啦，同埋温度高咗嘅。咁當然記得啦，每次只係轉一個啦。如果唔係嘅話，成個實驗就唔公平㗎啦嘛，係咪？咁第三十條就問我哋啦，下面 P、Q、R、S 邊一條線係代表住提升咗濕？度嘅變化呢，咁成條題目啦，當然係考下我哋啦。對於以上嘅環境因素，光度啊、風速啊、濕度啊、温度啊，對棵植物嘅失水速度嘅改變，而成幅圖最關鍵嘅概念你就要知道啦。其實 P、Q、R、S 咧都係代表住失水嘅。每一條 curve 咧，佢嘅第一日嘅數據同埋第五日嘅數據咧，其實都係跌咗嘅，就只係爭在跌多定係跌少嘅啫。而喺呢四個 factor 當中呢，其實就只有提升濕度係會令到失水速度下降嘅，即係失少咗水，即係話佢失水嘅份量呢，應該係眾多實驗之中呢係最少嘅，所以我哋就揾一條 curve 呢，佢嘅跌幅係最細啦，所以答案呢就係 Q 啦。咁好多同學呢喺度諗嘅，啊點解唔係 P 啊 P 呢嗰條 curve 比 Q 再高啲？根本就唔關條 curve 高定低事，係關嗰條 curve 嘅第一日同埋第五日佢哋個重量嘅變化。你要發現 P 係跌咗咁多 ，Q 呢係跌得好少好少，係咪 ？Question thirty and thirty one refer to the experiment. We are going to investigate the effect of environmental conditions on the transmission rate of a potted plant placed in a small room. So how can we do the measurement? The weight of the potter plant was recorded daily at noon for five consecutive days, and we repeat the experiment by changing one of the environmental conditions. Remember, we only change one environmental condition in order to keep the experiment is a fair comparison. Increased light intensity, relative humidity, temperature. So for this question, which of the following lines represent the result with an increased relative humidity? So for the whole question is checking our concept that how can the environmental factor would affect the transpiration rate of the potted plant? And based on the graph, I need to talk about the critical concept. Actually, all curves. Represent the weight loss. The weight of the potter plant it decreases, right? Of the four factors list, only the increased relative humidity would result in a decrease in the transpiration rate of the potter plant. So we can expect that with the increased relative humidity, the amount of water loss during the experiment period would be the least, and we are looking for the smaller decreases in the total weight of the potter plant. And the answer will be Q. So we can see that the decrease of the weight of the potter plant is the smallest. And actually, most of the students they got the wrong answer, P, because they think that the position of the curve P is higher than Q. So it means that it loses less of water. Actually, it's the wrong concept because you can see that from day one and from day five, the decrease of the weight is like this. However, for the Q, it should be like this. So you can do the comparison.